Doing talking stripes at night. Where is Sam? Ow! Sam! Oh, I'm sorry. Get up here. Okay. What are you doing? I, I'm too scared. It's, scared? It's dark outside. Well, why? What's scary about that? Vampires, zombies, Mark Updegraft is out of the weight room. I don't know where he is. Maybe if we just, you know, start, start get into it. Okay. It'll distract you from the scariness. Okay. Okay, come on. Water Polo took on the Knights of Gannon University in the first game of their doubleheader. Scoring for the Tigers was Savannah Cross, Emma Menjivar, Grace McLaughlin, Sarah Bowie, Evelyn Heal, and Kaylee Cordova. In game two against McKendry, the Tigers All-American honoree Grace McLaughlin led the way with three goals as Savannah Cross, Sierra Bowie, and Megan Lethgow each had one goal. Ooh. One second. <coughs> All right, go ahead. All right. Softball going three and three on the week, making their record ten and nine currently. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about my G5 sister, Bree Busick, also known as Breezy, also known as Wheels. Okay. And being the star she is, she ran those bases this week, totaling five runs and throwing in one RBI. Okay. Meanwhile, we got freshman pitcher Sam Zungry, who threw 236 total pitches this week. Mm. Woo! Also, as we were recording this, we just returned from the Tiger softball sweep of the Anderson Ravens with a 5-4 win in Game 1 and a 5-0 shutout in Game 2. Shout out Elise Freeland for hitting a 3-RBI double to win the game yes. in Game 1. Men's Volleyball head coach, who is also an alumni of the team, Nathan Matthews, finishes up his first ever season as head coach of the Tigers, ending with the best MCVL finish in program history. In the Tigers' last two matches of the year, Aaron Georgie totaled up 53 out of 56 of the Tigers' assists, and Russ Burke had 19 digs and 9 kills, while Dom The Milky Way Giori had 17 kills on the day. Congrats, men, on a great season. Men's lacrosse took on the battling Bishops. Tigers were able to get points on the board in each quarter with Ben Holland and Nathan Brown leading the way with two goals each. And Zach Busby, Noah Mackin, Mitchell Steinker, and Connor Matthews all with one goal each. Women's lacrosse splitting the week going one and one Highlighting the win over Earlham College, the ladies had a lot of success with seven different Tigers able to get on the scoring action, which includes Katie Wads, Grace Kennedy uh -huh. and Tavia Horn, uh -huh. all with one goal each. Mm -hmm. And then the howling and growling oh. Maya Wolf oh. with two goals. Hannah Fader and Grace Heyman also with two goals each. And last but certainly not least, the mean, lean scoring machine, Jessica Flick with four goals in this Tigers victory. Women's golf returning to action this week with Ellen Frame posting a 36 hole score of 170 which placed her in third. The Tigers second top 10 finish came from Hallie McNair earning a score of 183 and finishing seventh. Nice. Wittenberg posted a team score of 745 landing them in third place out of the nine qualifying teams. Amazing, amazing. Men's tennis came out swinging with Jake Stockhausen and Mark Trinka each winning their singles matches, as well as doubles partners Braden Kopp and John DeVito, and Joe Patton and Jake Stockhausen again able to win their doubles matches. Moving on to the other half of the team, the women's team double partners Sydney Coslaw and PJ Myers landing a win in the doubles matches, and then again Sydney Coslaw winning her singles match for the Tigers, as well as senior Ashley Isaac. Nice. Men's track and field finishing second out of 13 teams at the Landon Bond Inv Invitational. The Tigers were able to bring home three first place finishes from Devin Ramsey, Connor Kolka, and Garen Batjinski. <laughs> in the 800 meter run, seniors Ryan Zimmerman and Ramsey were able to claim first and second place. Sam Callanan was also able to snag a second place finish in the pole vault, clearing a 3.95 meters. Now let's move over to the other tide. Women's track and field finished third out of the 11 teams with Taylor Weiss taking the win in the triple jump, jumping 9.58 meters. Claiming second in the pole vault was Reese Newmeyer, clearing 2.65 meters. 
And for the running events, we had Corinne Tukovic coming in third in the 1500 meter run. Senior Maxine Wishman also took third in the 400 meter dash. And closing it out was Reese Newmeyer finishing in third in the 100 meter hurdles. Ooh. Men's golf, the number five Tigers captured their first win of the season at the Hershey Cup from Hershey, Pennsylvania. I love chocolate. I love chocolate too. Anyway, Matt Mattioli. Mattioli took the top spot amongst the field with a 36 hole score of 140, carding rounds of 69 and 71. Nick Pigeon and Josh Wright added top 10 finishes for the Tigers with a tie for eight, each posting rounds of 75 and 72. Atta boy. Now let's move on to baseball. The Tigers went four and one on the week with wins over Earlham College. Jack Seifert and Connor O'Malley each hitting a home run in that game. Then in two wins against Defiance, we had even more home runs from Jack Seifert and Connor O'Malley as well. Along with Chase Wisner, Dylan Jackson, and Lane Johnson also chipping in a home run each. And finally, to start NCAC play, the Tigers took on the Denison Big Red this weekend in their home opener. While the Denison Big Red were able to claim victory in game one, the Tigers were actually able to come from behind in the final Final inning with an amazing Ian Ash walk off home run in a pinch hitter situation. And I think the best way to describe it is by hearing it yourself. Compiled both teams. Ash is going to hit that. Well, a deep ball left. Going over the left field. Yeah. That ball's going in there to the wall. Yeah! 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 Let's go! Tigers have split here in Carlton Davidson Stadium off of a walk off home run from Ian Ash. My gosh, Sam, we talked about it and talked about it, and that was it. That is going to be a changing moment for that kid right there. Sam, did that, the doing Talking Stripes help at yeah, all? I mean, a little bit. It got my mind off of things. It's just, hey. McKenna, you never know what's out there. Like, someone okay. could be out the window, Fine. right? Ah! <laughs> what? There's a hideous man outside. Sam, that's your reflection. What? <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. Well, that's upsetting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go help him out, make sure he doesn't see his reflection anymore. But thanks for tuning in, people. See you next week.